I think Friends has been an extraordinarily important contributor. The work that I do with Friends is among my most proudest accomplishments. I'm most impressed with the Friends of Cancer Research work. There has been no better friend for cancer centers and cancer patients than Ellen Siegel and Marlene Malik and their organization, the Friends of Cancer Research. We didn't understand cancer in 1971 when we gathered together as a nation under the National Cancer Act. And that meant we had to make an investment in cancer research. That support and that commitment to cancer research over the past few decades by Friends of Cancer Research as well as other advocacy groups is now yielding dividends. Hello, I'm Susan Denser. As a person who regularly covers cancer issues, I'm delighted to be here to help celebrate the accomplishments of Friends of Cancer Research on its 10th anniversary. Over the past 10 years, Friends of Cancer Research has pioneered innovative public-private partnerships, organized critical policy forums, educated the public, and brought together key communities to develop collaborative strategies in the field of cancer research. During its first 10 years, Friends has grown from a one-person operation into a nationally recognized group. Friends was started for one year in celebration of the National Cancer Act, and we became engaged and felt that we were making a difference, and we thought we would do it for one more year, and now 10 years later, we are celebrating our 10th anniversary. While serving on the National Cancer Advisory Board, Ellen met longtime cancer advocate Marlene Malik. My father died of cancer. I lost three good friends in one year to cancer. And I just want to do everything I can to fight this disease. We shared a passion for research. It was and is personal for both of us. Friends decided early on that to develop strong cancer research advocates across the country, it needed a strategy. So it assembled researchers, patients, legislators, federal officials, and industry representatives for town hall meetings in the community. One of the things that Friends of Cancer Research does better than anyone else is hold the town hall meetings and get the member of Congress to come and respond and be a part of it. And I myself participated in that when I was chairman. It is uh, truly a great way to approach it and to get the representatives understanding that the people back home care. I remember when we went to Dartmouth and uh, Friends of Cancer Research, you know, Alan Siegel and Marlene Malik organized the session and it was amazing how important it was to have a, a policy maker, people who were doing the research on the ground, physicians who were treating cancer patients, cancer patients themselves there. And to me, this sort of bringing it to the human level is what Friends of Cancer Research uh, does well. Friends also realized early on that to make a difference in the lives of cancer patients, it would need to forge unique public-private partnerships. These would bring together the many different players in cancer. Our first partnership was done in conjunction with the AACI, the cancer centers, and it was on clinical trials and accrual of clinical trials. And we really found that was an extremely important model for us because the responsibility to fund research really goes well beyond the federal government. Public-private partnerships really are the glue that makes things happen as far as policy is concerned. And the Friends, of course, are one of those uh, uh, very integral groups that is able to really to accelerate and articulate uh, their visions. Friends' foresight in forging partnerships led to a collaboration with the Entertainment Industry Foundation on the Biomarker Discovery Project. That's a groundbreaking scientific initiative of EIF's Women's Cancer Research Fund with honorary chairs Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks, Kate Capshaw, and Steven Spielberg. The Entertainment Industry Foundation, uh, thanks in large part to Ellen Siegel and Friends of Cancer Research, convened uh, world-class scientists together to identify a blood marker that detects breast cancer in its earliest stages when it has the highest survival rate. Friends' history with the entertainment industry reaches back to the organization's first year. We actually had a meeting which Ellen chaired with Jack Valenti in which we had every single head of a network, every single head of a studio. 
They all united and said, we want to get behind this disease and see if we can help. We did our celebrity hearings in California with Diane Keaton, Olivia Newton-John, and others. It is extremely important that we have faces of people that can bring the media and attention to this disease, but we can never forget this disease is about the patient and their families. Through its network of prominent advocates, Friends coordinates strategic media outreach efforts. Over the years, Friends has appeared in articles, op-eds, and letters to the editor and our nation's top publications. Although we are friends of cancer research, we recognize the importance of all research, whether it's diabetes, Parkinson, cardiovascular disease. So we work collaboratively with other disease groups. Ellen Siegel is the preeminent leader in uh, cancer research and in biomedical research. Her ability to convene us all to make a difference for research is absolutely amazing. Friends collaborated closely with the entire cancer community to advocate for creation of a new office at the Food and Drug Administration, dedicated entirely to oncology products. It was an office that was brought about because of advocacy, because of groups like Friends and other cancer advocacy groups who saw the need to create a process at FDA that was more efficient. Groups like Friends of Cancer Research also have an understanding of the total picture. I thought that was very creative to, in fact, speed up the development of cures and treatments for cancer patients. Every time we cut even one day off of our process of getting these new solutions to patients, that is measured in saving of lives. That's a lot for friends and the advocacy community to be proud of. I love to team up with Ellen. I love to be her partner. And now, of course, she's helping me uh, trying to find uh, ways in order to get more resources for FDA so that we can get cancer drugs to the market faster. Ellen Siegel is an icon in the field. And we know by working with Ellen, there will be an end to cancer. As we celebrate our 10-year anniversary for Friends, it's really important to think about the future. Where are we going? What do we want to do? Because we cannot or should not exist unless we're making a difference. We are extremely interested in prevention. And we think that the regulatory piece of that, the importance of getting the science right on it, and looking at barriers and opportunities is going to be very important. There is always hope that can be generated by people taking leadership. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with friends in my role at the FDA. We need the help of everybody in this room to help us fight this disease. Friends will continue adding value to the cancer community by working to improve the future landscape of cancer research. From the renowned town hall public education policy events to building win-win partnerships with other members of the community, to working to identify future barriers and opportunities in cancer research. We want to thank you for coming tonight. We want to thank you for your support over the years and for this event. And we hope and know you will support cancer research going forward. Thank you so much.